Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the privilege to see this great day. We pray that as we go into your word, you will grant us understanding via the instrument of your spirit. That at the end of this devotion, we will be strengthened and our faith will be lifted. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our topic this morning is be a carrier of Jesus Christ. And here, the Bible explained clearly to us the event that took place during the triumphant entry into Jerusalem. A donkey carried him into the city, into the Jerusalem, and crowds followed. People jubilated, whilst others were happy, some were sorrowed. The other time Jesus was carried was, was, was when he was in his mother's womb. When she visited Elizabeth, the Bible said when the mother greeted the baby in Elizabeth's womb, leaped for joy. He was carried. And then close to the end of his ministry, he was also carried by a donkey into the city. But at each of the events that he was carried, the people around jubilated. John in Elizabeth's womb lived for joy. All the inhabitants of Jerusalem were happy, so much so that the Pharisees were infuriated at their reactions. So, Jesus was carried. Our topic today tries to give us certain responsibilities as Christians. As a Christian, you ought to be an ambassador of Christ. Are you an ambassador? Are you carrying Christ wherever you go? Because, friends, only the message of Jesus can bring liberation to our world. Christ is the one that has the answer to the many questions that we have in life. Now, hear this. The Bible said, as the donkey was approaching Jerusalem, others had to spread their clothes, some broad palm fronts. They were celebrating, they were jubilating. Light came. So as Christians, we ought to carry the message of Christ and we ought to represent Christ. So are you a carrier of Christ or are you an ambassador of Jesus? Do you project him wherever you go, wherever you find yourself? So as ambassadors of Christ, there are three areas we are expected to showcase Jesus wherever we find ourselves. Just as he was carried by the donkey and the mother carried him in the womb visited Elizabeth, something happened. The donkey entered Jerusalem, something happened. Wherever we are, we are supposed to be carriers of Christ, projecting who he is to the world. Number one, in the church, we are expected to project Christ, to truly be ambassadors of Christ. But what do we find in church today? Those we are depending on we are looking at them as giants of faith. Suddenly their attitudes, their behaviors, is nothing to write home about. Today what we do in church is to fight each other, is to criticize one another. We team up against the set man. We want to fight the pastor. We want to meet before meetings to discuss issues that we think we want it to prevail rather than what God wants. Are we showcasing Christ in the church today? Anias and Sapphira, 
wanted to do otherwise. They were to showcase Christ, but they came with deceit. They sold the land, they kept some money behind, and they told the apostles something different from the actual figure. That is what is going on in church today. We are supposed to be carriers or ambassadors of Jesus, projecting him wherever we are. But right in the church, what we find is different. People take projects and then unnecessarily, they inflate the price. They call themselves Christians. So in the church, instead of we to project Christ by the way we behave, our attitude, our character, by our fruit, what we find is different. But this morning, friends, the word of God is admonishing us to project Jesus wherever we find ourselves. Bring the light that the name carries, the light that the gospel of Christ carries. Let's project it to the world. So let's not be hypocrites in the church, but let's be ambassadors, true ambassadors. Let's stand for what is right and let's stand for the truth. Let's not try to play relig religiosity and let's not play tribalism, nepotism in the church. That is not what we are called to do. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 20, the Bible said, Therefore we are ambassadors for Christ. God making his appeal through us. We employ you on behalf of Christ. Be reconciled to God. So let people see us as agents of reconciliation, not division, not setting up factions. So we are to be carriers of Christ in the church. Number two, we are to be ambassadors or carriers of Christ in the marketplace. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, that we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in him. So we are God's workmanship created unto good works. Where you find yourself in your office, are you showcasing Jesus? Are you an ambassador? Don't you take bribe like others? Are you not cutting corners like others? Are you not, you know, adjusting figures? Are you not doing things just to amass the wealth of life and then, you know, turn your back on the truth? Friends, where you are and where you are working is your marketplace. Your marketplace represents your office. It represents your business center. It represents your interaction with the world. We are ambassadors of Christ. So carry the gospel with you. Let people see you and see Jesus. Let people see you and see light. Stand for the truth. When you are being consulted to do otherwise, to work against what you believe on or what you live for, don't accept. This morning, the word of the Lord is coming to you to stand for Jesus and shine the light. The Bible says, Ye are the light of the world. A city set upon a hill cannot be hidden. So we are to be ambassadors of Christ in the marketplace. And then, number three, are you an ambassador of Christ in your own home as a father or as a mother? Are you not a terrorist in your home? Do you love as Christ admonished that we should? Do you represent Jesus in your home? Do you show the light to your children? Does your wife believe at all that you have accepted Christ? What is your behavior? Do you care for your family? So we ought to begin from our home to showcase Jesus to our children, to our family. As a mother, are you really out 
to build the home or you are comparing yourself with others out there are you bringing on due pressure on your husband because you want to put on what other women are putting on friends we are to be ambassadors of Christ so where we read this morning the Bible says the donkey took Jesus to Jerusalem the people were happy despite that there were others who were not comfortable with that don't forget that if you are a carrier of light you will face confrontation when you stand for the truth in your office it's not going to be business as usual but will you back off because of the threat of ordinary men as i wrap up from the issue of our home i want to emphasize that our children should go out and testify that their parents are christians your husband should be proud of you that you have the fear of god your wife should be proud of you that you have the fear of god that is when we truly represent christ today if all that we do in the secret is open to the world we will know that we are only deceiving ourselves so friends we are admonished to be carriers of Christ Jesus in Isaiah chapter 52 verse 7 the bible say how beautiful upon the mountain are the feet of those who bring good news news of peace glad tidings how beautiful upon the mountain as you walk out of your house this day are you going to be an ambassador of Jesus or you will live a life of compromise in your home will you learn to forgive and let peace reign or you want to hold the matter until you get to the village to settle it in the marketplace do you want to amass wealth so that you will be like the politicians and others that probably are priding themselves on stolen money and because of that you inflate your figures you cut corners you take bribe and yet you stand in the church to teach to preach and to shout hallelujah friends let's be carriers of jesus the bible said be not deceived for god cannot be mocked whatever a man sows that is what he or she will reap so the word of god wants us to be light in our generation and in the church certain things are going on in the church that is obvious that we have left the track friends be the one that will shine the light no matter the situation be a carrier of jesus and in rounding this morning wherever you go present jesus present jesus to your boss present jesus to those who are your subordinates and that can be easily showcased via our attitude and the way we interact the way we behave the way we respond when we are hot that is the easiest way to present jesus if you are offended how do you act how do you react how do you respond so this morning go forth shine the light in the marketplace shine the light in the church shine the light in your home be an ambassador of jesus our prayer this morning is lord jesus help me to be one who carries you in words and in deeds so that others beholding you in me may have your joy in themselves also let us pray thank you father cause your word to find a place in our heart and to transform us in and out we ask this through christ our lord amen We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station for another special edition of the Daily Fountain.
if you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.